Okay, Glenn, so part two is that we want to start to get your chin back and elongate through the back of the neck here to decompress some of the spine, especially the cervical spine. So in order to do this, first we're going to stretch through the front of the neck so that you can tuck that chin and get it back. So I'm going to have you take one hand and put it over the other right underneath where the collarbone is, just below that, just like so, and you're going to push into your chest. So you're actually holding down some of this connective tissue. And I would suggest doing this with your chin down, pointed downward to start. And then you're going to push in and pull down with the hands just a little bit. And then you're going to tilt your head back and you'll start to feel a big stretch through the front of your neck. If you want to accentuate that stretch, point your chin up toward the ceiling and even try and jut it out. You can turn your head also a little to the right and also a little to the left to catch some of the side musculature through here. Now, once you've done that, we want to then get your chin to come back. So what you're going to do is from the side, take your fingertips, push your chin back. So your chin, you don't want it up, you want it angled down. You're going to be pushing it back toward your spine and elongating through the back of the neck here. Imagine there's a book on the top of your head and you're trying to push it upward. And just repeat that about 10, 15.